Hi there. Today I'm about to show you my process in making mandalas. The project that I'm working on currently is during the COVID-19 isolation and I'm working on mandalas to help um, help us all to thank the nurses and the doctors that are stepping up, stepping in line to help save the world um, during this time. And I'm feeling very passionate about sharing my gratitude with them and I know that you are too. Um, so thank you for being here and watching this process because it's going to shine more light into the project. So I am Mara, I'm the maker at Mara's Mandalas, and I am here today showing you a little bit more about mandalas. The mandalas I make are very special, and here's why. It's because I make them with an intention. So I choose an intention or a phrase, it's usually something very positive or uh, inspiring, and I use that phrase as I paint to infuse the energy into the mandala. So for example, um, I have a line of mandalas behind me here. They each have a special quote or phrase that goes with them. So this one here, I have the um, intention written on the back. So I started with this intention. It says, your courage brings light to the world. Thank you. So this is a thank you to the nurses and the doctors. Do you see? So. I want to show you a little bit my process from kind of start to finish on how I decide on an intention and then what, where the design comes from, where the colors come from, and how I, how I do this process. So I'm excited to have you here today. Thank you for being here. So I want to show you um, the tags that I make with um, the mandalas. So I already did my meditation, my special meditation that I go into um, to find my intentions. So if you wanted to learn a little more about that process, it's in the uh, Mara's Mandalas and Mindfulness class. If you're looking for that, you can go to my website um, and we learn how I find the intentions there. But these are some examples of the intentions for um, the nurses and doctors that are coming along with these mandalas. So you can see, you can kind of read some of them for yourself and I'll read a few of them to you. Um, these are going to be infused into mandalas, especially for um, this project. So this quote on this one is, shine your light to the world, be strong, be kind, be brave. Um, I love this one. Your gifts are what make you perfect for this moment. Thank you. So they all say thank you at the end because this is a very deep, deep thank you from us, from the world. This one is your soul guided you here. This is your moment to shine your brightest light. Thank you. So this is actually the one that we're gonna be working with today. I do have a nice stack here, but today I just wanna show you this one. Um, how, how I wanna tell you about this is that this particular quote means a lot to me. So it, it's very important that we understand why we're thanking these people. And the reason for me to, to say this is, um, I do have friends who are nurses, which you may too, and we know that they're showing up in, in a time maybe that's very inconvenient in their life, but they're showing up anyways. Their jobs are continuing where some of us some of our jobs aren't, but their jobs are sort of being forced to continue, but they're also showing up in a way that they didn't necessarily sign up for. So they weren't recruited to do this particular part of this job, even though it is. Um, but my point is, is that like something inside these souls drew them to this place and their soul is meant to be who they are right now for us, for the world, with their set of skills, their set of knowledge, their personality, the way that they're handling this, their meticulous, you know, clean, cleaning um, potential to stay clean and stay healthy and, and to, to help others stay healthy, to understand that at a deep level. And that's why they're promoting all of the washing of the hands. But this particular quote, your soul guided you here. 
this is your moment to shine your brightest light. And I believe that their soul guided them to become this personality, this to, to go on this career path, to be here right now in 2020 during this event. So I really feel strongly about this one, which is really why I want to do it. Now I have the design sort of already made for you because if you wanted to learn how to do the design, I um, teach you that also in the Mars Mandalas and Mindfulness class. So I just want to show you. Now look at what's on that little design there. We have a little butterfly. So I chose a butterfly for this quote for a reason. And that's because I believe that the butterfly is a little symbol. It's a little reminder that when we see one, we are sort of drawn to that. We're drawn to it's like it just kind of appears out of nowhere. It just kind of sparkles through and all of a sudden we're, we're watching this butterfly float on by and it's kind of bringing you to the present moment. It's bringing you in check and it's giving you that opportunity to follow your intuition, to stop, to say, why did this come into my life right now? Well, maybe I'll take that opportunity that I was just thinking about or maybe it's reminding me to just take a deep breath and pause right? So I believe that these people in our health facilities right now, they followed that gut. They followed their intuition and it led them to be who we need them to be today. And that is why I'm just so thrilled for, for this project. And I'm really glad to have you here. So I do want to show you now um, the color scheme that I want to do. Um, I'm going to pull it up here for you. So I sometimes am inspired by all kinds of different things for color schemes um, but for this color scheme today i just want to show you that i pulled up some floral patterns on pinterest and i kind of saw this here and i really like this purpley here and this creamy color this mauve and this light blue so do you see how like that's kind of what pulls together this piece that is what i really wanted to get through to this um, mandala. I love this color scheme. So I wanna see what it's gonna turn out like. As you know, my page is pretty blank, so we will use those colors in this little little page here, and um, we will see what it turns out to be. So thank you again for being here. I'm gonna show you my process in the second half of the video. I'm gonna show you the paints and the colors and everything, just so, you can enjoy it and I'm going to have some nice soft relaxing music in the back that you can listen to and enjoy while you're watching. Um, it'll be great. Thank you. All right. I'm really happy to have you on board today and I hope that you noticed in the background there were some angels that I had painted before. Um, so those angels are really special to me. They bring me some positive light. Um, I believe that they help me to come up with these ideas, these um, fun, interesting ideas. Um, and also they help me to infuse the mandala with the intention that I come up with. So as you can see here, I'm just kind of making a little color palette and I'm not going to go too crazy because I don't want it to all dry out on me. And I also want to get a little jar of water here so I'll show you what I'm doing. <laughs> um, but these angels help me um, with their energy. So if you are familiar with energy work and you have been following this stuff for a little bit, you may kind of be like, oh girl, I know what you're talking about. Um, and I, I do feel them with me um, here today. So if you're here, thank you for being here. Um, I do wanna just kind of thank you for helping, you know, this in a way is a, sending some love and support to the people um, that are helping all of us right now. So thank you for that. Um, oh, you know what I usually do first? <laughs> so this is what I have on my paints here. Um, what I usually like to do is write my intention on the back here. So 
I'm gonna do that now. One sec. Thank you. So this is that my step one in of infusing the piece with the intention. Now back to the fun coloring piece here. So I'm gonna start off, I like to start off painting in the center just to kind of see how it grows from within. So if you know anything about mandalas, or if you don't, I'm gonna tell you a little bit today. So mandalas start, um, you can see they're a layer of circles. And I like to start with the center one for a reason, because the mandala represents the universe and the whole thing. <laughs> so when you break it down each circle, represents a different piece of the universe. So we would have universe and then this circle is, um, you know, our solar system. And then this circle is our earth. And then this circle is America. And this circle is, you know, maybe me cause I'm in Pennsylvania. <laughs> and then this inner circle would be actually like my soul or the soul of whatever we're working on. So you can see this layering piece is really important um, in the meaning of mandalas. So now I want to start with just getting a base color down for the butterfly. I want her to um, eventually be pink, like very, very pink, not peachy. But right now I just want to get a color down to cover up this hole. <laughs> We're gonna come back to her in much more detail once that gray dries. So you can see acrylic dries really fast. Um, so I'm just gonna let it go um, and dry, but it it's not that fast. <laughs> so we gotta just let it let it happen a little bit here and then we'll get back into that detail so you can see this is this very um, thin paintbrush that i'm using to um, kind of create this little little mandala here so i want to get into some pinks in the middle so what i'm trying to think about is i want this center to be bright so i'm gonna eventually have to brighten this gray. I don't know how it got so dark. Um, usually colors dry a little darker with acrylic. So I'll probably go over that with white, but I do like that it is gray because I do want it to be like a light gray. So I'll go back. You'll see. We'll go back over it. Um, and so normally when I'm doing this, I, I have either some soft music on or um, something in a quiet space or somewhere really relaxing where I'm bringing that energy into the piece. So we know that the butterfly helps me and it's going to help you too, to kind of like embed this particular piece with the energy. Um, but I, I do want to like talk about a few things while we are here to really help really bring this energy so i'm gonna start you can see like i'm pretty sloppy <laughs> with this this isn't what i want to talk about but this is what i want to just show you like i get pretty sloppy here because um perfection happens over time and i want to talk about that too so let's talk about that first um <laughs> and what i mean by perfection is in life we don't just automatically gain a skill right it just it kind of grows and one thing leads to another think about the the path and the process of your life um one thing leads to another so we can't expect every step to be exactly perfect even though that's how they tell us to be so that's what i love about mandalas is that like they're very representative of 
deep meaning. <laughs> the process of making them actually is a piece of that deep meaning um, that I that I really want to talk about, and I really want to bring that up right now uh, while you're watching me, um, because this process here is is something that you see when you see a finished mandala you've seen them on my um, website you can say to yourself and you get lost in it a little bit and be like wow that is like really too perfect I could never do that and that's insane that that's it's so detailed it's you know all these things <laughs> um, but the reality is is that like look at how this works um it just builds and builds and builds on each other. And then there's mistakes. Like, I'm not really sure I like that color there. I think I want to bring that out. But I think I might do... So I, I make different decisions while I'm doing this. But anyways, what I'm saying is, is that this is a very important representation of life. It's showing us that perfection doesn't just happen right like it's something that when we look back on it's hindsight 2020 kind of thing when we look back on the threads of our life we start to see this beautiful beautiful progression that maybe we didn't see before maybe we didn't notice or recognize how our life led us to this beautiful place when it seemed like the whole time it was like a, you know, a train wreck or something. So it's really interesting to watch that. And that's why I want to bring that back to what I want to say about the nurses and the doctors. And if you are a nurse or if you know a nurse, share this with them. Share this with them. If they're struggling, share with them this idea that they are, their soul chose this beautiful experience. And right now it sounds, it's really rough. It is, especially for them. But this, there's something that their soul wants to learn from this. And it's so important for them to show up and be there, not just for us, even though we are very, very grateful, but for their inner truth. So their truth is here. They chose that profession for a reason. They chose to be a nurse. They were called to being a compassionate, beautiful person, a beautiful soul who is selfless in a way that many, many people cannot be or do not know how to be. Um, so their specific skill set is was brought to them through a, their their soul, their personality. And I would love it if you are a nurse or if you know someone to have them trace the steps of how they got here. Um, and really think about that process and where you are and where your journey has led you, whether you are a nurse or whoever you are and whatever you do as a light warrior where you're spreading the light, what exactly did you listen to? What brought you to that place? And for me, if you've um, followed me at all or looked at my bio, you might already know um, some of this. But for me, I went to school as a biology major. I wanted to be a pharmacist. And I loved art, but that was just supposed to be my minor. And I did bio for a couple of years, and then all of a sudden I said, what, what is this? I don't even like this. And I just, drop of a hat, made a decision to, to, I left in the middle of class to change my major. And, and that sounds like so abrupt, but then I realized when I got to the registrar's office to change my major in the middle of my class that that was the last day of drop period and that was the last day that I could have changed my major. So when I look back at my life and I see that story, I'm like, oh, that was not a coincidence. That was on purpose. That was my soul. It was like, Mara, go. 
get out of here. Let's get this. This is what you want. And that arch major led me to um, doing more yoga, getting it more into meditation, and eventually learning about yin and yang, which led me to acupuncture school, which led me to my profession and then also to this sort of profession where I'm designing these powerful, meaningful healing pieces of art for the world and especially right now for those in need of some light and positivity. So if you're reading my posts and you're saying, what is all this positivity about? That is what it's about. I believe that we were all meant to follow a path, learn from a path, grow on a path. And these nurses and doctors, it's the same. It's the same beautiful thing for them. They're meant to be where they are right now for a, for a reason. And it's a beautiful, beautiful um bittersweet thing obviously that that's um to, to say like oh this is anything joyful but their soul is 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 learning from this and i think if if you are an in, intuitive soul which i believe that you are because we all are your intuition is telling you that 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 is like they aren't there by accident <laughs> Um, they are meant to be our, our saviors right now. And, in, and if they would have known that this was going to happen, they might have chosen differently. Um, but that's, that's the way that the world wanted it. They wanted it to be these beautiful souls to help heal us, heal us all. So you can see I lightened that middle color there a little bit. Okay, so you can see I've um, got some light blue going on over here. I'm gonna just scoot this over so you can see it. This light blue is like a little bit bright compared to that beautiful little dusty blue. So how do we make it a little dusty? We take a little bit of gray. Just kind of get the shade we want. got some dusty blue up here that we're just gonna highlight these little guys here so thank you again for being here I hope that you're learning a little bit from sort of my meditation as I'm making this mandala and I I do want to kind of stick with our topic um, where our souls are being guided because that's the energy that's going into this mandala. So I really want to keep that feeling happening um, into this, this beautiful piece that is happening before our eyes. So I want you to think about what in your life you felt guided by. And I want you to think about whether you listened or whether you maybe didn't. And if that thing is happening right now and there's something that is kind of calling to you and you're maybe ignoring it a little bit, you can go ahead and, and accept and acknowledge that. And just be there for yourself, be there for that calling because that calling is your truth that's your soul that's your soul talking with you and you notice i say with you because it's talking with you it's not talking at you or to you it's with you when you feel drawn to something or you have an intuitive reaction that's important it's talking with you and it wants to collaborate. That inspiration wants to collaborate with you. And if you're creative, that's this kind of stuff, right? It's like, oh, I got I to gotta get these out to the world. And maybe you're going to start now thinking of your thank you note to 
to our world. Um, and, and that's another thing I want to know. So please, you know, in the comments, if you get a chance to write a little bit about number one is if there's any intuitive thoughts on your mind right now. And number two, um, what you're doing to um, assist someone in, in this crisis. Um, I don't like saying that word, in this challenging time. What are you doing? Um, I know that you're doing something, so please share with me, or I know you have something in mind. Um, I can just tell. So if you, maybe that's your intuitive thing where you're like, oh, I can't do that. That's not meaningful. That's not going to help anyone. Well, you know what? I would like to say the same thing about paintings, but at the same time, I know how powerful art can be. Um, art was one of the first things that they found um, thousands of years ago and when they dug up old civilizations, they, they saw art from such a long time ago. And there is something to art that is inspiring and very, beautiful to spark that kind of um, depth in in all in all walks of life I want to say in all walks of life no matter your country no matter your race your gender this art is always with us so I think this art can help people so I want you to sit and think about what you know that can help people. What can you do? What are your skills? What are your, what have you been drawn to? What are your talents? And don't let anyone ever tell you that you can't do anything with those talents because you can. I've always had support in my life. People always saying that I can do this. Um, I feel very blessed. So this is me telling you, you can do whatever it is that you want to do to help people. And it, it's not selfish if you enjoy it. That's what I want to say. So in this color here, I love this little this mauve. Oh my God, it's so cute. Okay. <laughs> but you see the inside there is kind of light. I wanted that to like be really bright because our quote is shine your brightest light. So I want that to really pop um, towards the end of this. Okay, so I want to talk about a little more about intentions and the mandalas and how you can really use this as a reminder. So I want you to think about um, when we're trying to um, bring in the light, okay? So that can be taken as many different ways when we're trying to be good people, when we're trying to um, follow a specific healthy path. Um, there's things that we need to do to get there. And one of them is like to have a goal. So maybe if we're living that healthy path, that's our goal. Or if we're becoming a better person, we're sharing the light in whatever our profession is by, by being kind and being gentle. Um, and nurturing or listener, good good listener, whatever that is. Um, that's sort of your intention. Um, now, when something is difficult for going through a difficult time, 
it's harder to keep the intention in mind, right? If that's very unusual for us to, let's do the, the healthy eating. If it's very unusual for us to healthy to eat healthy, <laughs> um, and then you ask someone to eat healthy, like it's very uncomfortable, it's very unusual. So they need a lot of reminders to not fall back into the habits, to fall back into the habits of um, those unhealthy patterns or just patterns that aren't serving them or us. Um, so we want to see that person have an intention and not just a goal. Goals are great. I mean, I, you know, goal to be more balanced or more healthy. That's a great goal. But the intention is more present. It's more present moment. It's more, um, I'm intending to live a healthy life. That's the intention of <laughs> trying to make a healthy habit and make a healthy change is, is the, the depths of the intention in that. Um, and that's what's important about, about, in, about mandalas with intentions too. Because the more that you're making an intention and the more that you're thinking that intention, you're putting that energy out into the, the universe. So right now with my intention here, being the light, being shining that light, listening to your soul, recognizing the truth that led you here, the divinity that brought you here, the, the intuition that you were led to follow to become that person. That's what this particular mandala is all about. Um, and that that's very deep and very important for us um, to recognize. So when we're trying to create a new habit, we have the intention, that's important. But the second thing we need is to have reminders about that intention, do you see? So when we wanna remember <laughs> to eat healthy, we wanna say, oh, maybe I'll um, make a grocery list. You know, we set up, we set up for success, right? I'll make a grocery list and then I only get the foods that make me feel healthy right now. And, <laughs> um, and then, all of those foods that you're surrounded by are reminding you like this is my intention is to live a healthy lifestyle and it's harder to fall back uh, when you're surrounded by the intention and the light and the desire to become that better person because you had that intention and writing that intention down is even more important but another way you can write it down right write it down and I mean this is like writing it down times a million so we're like writing it down we're like solidifying it into our brain by just making this or if you're watching this you're like absorbing this this beautiful power that we're this beautiful intention that we've made but whoever receives this now they were meant to receive this one. I don't know if you believe that. <laughs> but I feel like whoever is meant to see this, there's like going to be different units that are going to be looking at this um, in the hospitals. So whoever encounters this piece was meant to. And that is because they needed a reminder. So I'm coming back to what I was talking about here. So they needed that reminder to have a positive outlook on this. They needed a reminder that their soul guided them here. Their soul guided them to this beautiful, beautiful space, this very unique, challenging situation. But it's the soul that journeyed him and her to this place. And, and this is a reminder that that they are meant to be there and that there's nothing to be afraid of. There's, there is fear in the world and there is, will always be something, but right now it's not meant to take over. That, that fear is not meant to take over. This is time. This is time. This is beautiful, you know, time to let that light shine because we need it. We need it most. 
right right now we need it the most okay you see how this is like just kind of looks like i don't know a, a kid did it <laughs> right so and, and you know what kids can do this this isn't something that just i can do <laughs> this is something everybody can do so i'm not trying to hide it from you or make it mystical because it's 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 not um but what i want to see happen here is this um somehow glow so i want to see um i think i want this to be a purpley pink out here okay so what i'm saying is that this mandala is a reminder so we know the quote that's in it because we did it first so if you ever make a mandala for yourself and you follow my videos or um, follow my class then you can make a mandala for yourself and you can put an intention in that you want to be the reminder that you want if you need a reminder to breathe more, like, you know, deep breathing, um, relaxation, you know, yoga breathing, make one with the intention to breathe. Make one with the intention of mindfulness. You know, you can decide the intention. You don't have to go into meditation like I do right now. Um, you can pick something pretty easy if you wanted. And that, this piece is going to become a reminder oh guys did you want to see like it's just like a little bit of green here a little bit, a little bit of this green <laughs> just need a drop and then a little bit of the darker green There's my green. Okay, so this reminder is going to help you to rem to remember your your purpose and your intention. So art is a visual stimulus. Art it is literally talking to your brain right now um, by just your eyes absorbing and or sorry rather your eyes catching the light <laughs> and seeing color seeing shapes it's a direct pathway to your brain so it's telling you something so you have a reminder you can change your thoughts and you can change your actions you can become that better person and be more intuitive or be that which you desire to be or live the way you desire to live um, because you have this reminder so the let's go with an opposite story of this <laughs> if you're in the same environment every day like when we're in isolation <laughs> um it kind of gets um a little bit more difficult to be inspired for some people um, because everything's kind of the same so for me i i actually enjoy being at home so this is um different but i want to tell you why it's because i don't do the same thing every day i need to have some kind of inspiration um i need to have some kind of um change so like i don't exercise at a certain time every day i don't um, do all those things because I like to change it up because if my environment's too much the same I don't get it that inspiration so that's the same thing here if you're in that situation where you're uninspired or things are the same and you're not getting those reminders like these positive reminders every day um, or something different then you could get stuck in that in that same rut oh i want to get into that after um so you'll get stuck in the 
the belief, the belief that I can't be healthy or I, I, I can't achieve this. I can't be intuitive. I can't trust my intuition. I, I can't, I can't, I can't. And it's not because you can't. It's because you aren't being reminded enough <laughs> to, to change that habit or to grow into this new person because you're stuck in the old habits. We're stuck in our old um, our old purpose instead of our new purpose. So when we decide it's time to have a new purpose, um, it's very helpful to have reminders. And the visual reminder is going to be a very, very big thing, especially if you put one of these by your desk or like I want the nurses to do, to put these in their office where they're going to see them. So they're going to see these. <laughs> when they go in there, they're, they're upset. They left their kids at home. They have a hard time seeing them because they're terrified, you know, whether this is going to spread or what. And they're working their hardest. You know, I don't mean to be saying sad things on here, but they're working their hardest. This is real. I, I speak truth here. Um, they're working their hardest to stay keep everyone safe, keep their kids safe. Even if they're not in one of the hospitals where they're, they're treating the, the cases, they're still in hospitals and that's, that's terrifying right now. So I want them, I want these beautiful men and women to see something right now that is positive and that will help to shift their perspective a little bit because you know who else is scared? Everyone. Everyone's scared. So their patients are scared, even if they're there for having a baby. They're scared. Their um, colleagues are scared. Some of their colleagues might have other doctors and nurses in the family in different hospitals. There's this whole puzzle of people that are connected in this, in this space. And they need to have a reminder right now. And I know this is small and I know that, I mean, it's called a mini mandala and I know that it's not much, um, you know, in the scheme of things, but just these little things can help him and her um, to check in a little bit and, and feel, feel appreciated. And to feel like it's they're meant they're where they're meant to be. There's an acceptance that can happen instead of a frustration. And that's my hope is that someone will see this when in a in the time of need, when they're the most in need. And and that's that's what I want. And that's what I believe the angels will guide them to this if if that's their path to if they need a little way out they'll find this and it will help them it will help to change their perspective and to lighten their mind a little bit and to know that we're all out here for them the best that we can doing what we can do staying in <laughs> and we believe in them and we love them we're very thankful thankful that they're deciding to show up if they're able to. Okay, so you're watching me do my uh, blending technique here. It's really a great thing to do on camera. Okay, so now we have the glowing effect has happened. It's coming together here. It still looks like a little drawing. Um, but now I'm gonna get into the detail a little more. Um, so watch how this is all done, if you are interested. So the, you know, the point about the intentions is, I want you to think about what you can use intentions for in your life. Um, what goals do you have and how can you use 
intentions. Can you, well, first of all, you wanna maybe make one or find one that talks to you. There she is. And you want this intention to be in a place where you'll see it every day or read it every day if you're um, writing it down somewhere. So if you're into the art and the mandalas, you can see which ones maybe call to you and one that maybe will help you to become the one you want to be, the one that will help you to live your truth, the one that will help you to stay positive. And I say that because I have to, <laughs> because I have these mandalas in my shop and they're meant to be with who they want to be with. They have a special energy, and if you're one of them, I want you to know about it. I want you to meet up with with her, <laughs> with the mandala that's meant to be yours, if, if that's the path. Um, and if that's not the path, you're not called to that, you just enjoy watching, that's great too. There's a place for you here too. Um, but I do want, want everyone to know that there is light in the shop um, all the mandalas there have a message, have a purpose. And if you're feeling called to one, you might want to check it out and see. And I always have my policy where you can return them. If, the, if when you get them, the energy doesn't work out for some reason, that can happen. Um, although I've, I've had many people that... I just had a girl recently... Um, she got hers in the mail and she hadn't felt this one in person at all. She was just kind of like going off her her soul and just chose and, and went with her gut. And that's kind of what it's all about. And she resonated with that quote. She resonated with the design. And when she invited it in, she said that when the box came in the mail, she got chills <laughs> and was shaking when opening this box um, because she just knew, you know, like she just, you know, that feeling when you just know, like there's something special and that just warmed my heart to hear that because it's just making me cry right now. Um, but to hear that this this art had a, a a beautiful response for her, it just means that there is energy in here, and it means that she, this lovely, beautiful soul, followed her her path, her calling, her heart, her intuition. It's so beautiful. But so I'm just kind of adding some color here, you know. Uh, Soften that edge. So whatever you decide to do, I want you um, to think about what, what you would set an intention for and how intentions could help you in your life right now. And maybe how mandalas might be able to get you there too. going to add sort of the finishing touches 
that really make these have a lot of light and it's the gold paint. I don't know if you can see it's like a metallic gold and you're gonna see it on here. Um, so I'm gonna just kind of embellish So coming on back to our original conversations, you see how this is coming together where it all seemed like a mess for a little while. And now we're bringing the pieces together and in hindsight, it's like our souls just guided us to have this piece come along. And also you can start to see how all the rings and the, the petals on this mandala um, represent something. They're coming from within and reaching to the connections outside. So we connect inside with our inner circle and each layer is another beautiful set of consciousness that we can enjoy, learn from, that becomes part of us. So mandalas represent that universal connection that we all have, the oneness the beauty, the light that's in each and every one of us is represented here in this mandala, in all of the mandalas. The oneness within us all, the connectedness. And if, if we can't feel connected right now, right, then when when would that be? Because this, this time in our lives is bringing us all together. Do you feel it? Do you feel how connected we all are? Just like this. Each petal overlaps, connects, and talks to each other, helps each other out that ripple effect but each one has a different purpose it has a different color it has a different skill it shines a different light but it's still light and it's still beautiful and it's unique <laughs> and that light is what you have in you too right you know that and that's what you're sharing with your friends and your, the people in your life that you're trying to share the word with. When we're all connected, like we are in, at this time, we can bring this light through. And we can feel that connection. We feel our purpose. Feel what your purpose is. Might not have been what you thought either. This wasn't this wasn't what I thought. Um, in a global crisis, this isn't what I thought I would be doing, right? But perhaps it is, <laughs> and perhaps you're meant to see this and watch it all the way to the end, like now. And that's how we get these nice big dots here. So as we're coming to a close here, I just want to thank you again for being here, being your light, shining your light, finding ways to find reminders to shine your light. 
I say that a lot, but I really do mean it. I do mean that you have your beautiful truth inside of you, that peace that just makes you sing the heart of you. And that piece of you wants to be heard, wants to exist here. <laughs> and it wants you to trust in your intuition, listen to your soul, follow your butterflies. But in order to get that into your life, you might have to make some changes might need to be something that you enjoy. Um, like having a mandala around. <laughs> Whatever it is, it needs that welcoming. It needs that welcoming energy. The welcoming of change. This one turned out to be wild and fun. So this, your soul guided you here. This is your moment to shine your brightest light. This is what we came up with here. It's definitely different than what I thought because when you look at those flowers, you see something completely different. But I just kind of love the gold in it right now. You can kind of see that. Let's bring this over here. Get that nice light on there. But I want to thank you again for just being here, for listening to the stories of mandalas and how they can change your life and how they can be such positive reminders. Um, and this project and how it's becoming a positive reminder for um, all of our light warriors out there. Um, sending a nice shout out to you. Um, you know who you are, no matter what your industry, no matter um, how you're helping. It doesn't matter if, if you're working at home, you're helping. You're helping your, your children, you're helping the people around you from not being around them. <laughs> um, and if you're working for a company um, and you are showing up to work, it might be um, an essential company that is required we appreciate that we love you um, your soul guided you to be that and yeah. you're very needed right now we're very appreciative um, of your your beautiful light um, and of course if you're in the um, governmental roles as a delivery man or you know post office all those things um, we, we really appreciate that um, and of course the healthcare workers and everyone associated with all of those. Uh, we just love you so much. We send you so much love and we are so grateful. So thank you uh, all for being here and sharing that light together in our video. I am just so happy that you're here. And wherever this mandala ends up, it will have a little piece of you with it and it will be thanking everyone everyone that sees it so maybe we even have some nurses over there seeing it now and we just hope that you know how much we love you and thank you you made it all the way to the end thank you for being here we finished our mandala and the intention to the doctors and nurses at the hospital so thank you um, we will be sending them some beautiful light and love. Um, I, I want to thank you again for being here with me. And I want to encourage you to um, subscribe to my channel, share this with your friends. Uh, we want to spread the light, we want to spread the love and the little ideas that we have in here about intentions and setting them and making art and doing different activities is very, very important. So please share with whoever you can, no matter what platform you're coming from, and we can together bring this new idea into the world. Thank you so much, and I hope that you stay well, stay in, and stay positive.